When you try prompts in Leonardo AI, if you got images like this, this video is for you. After Midjourney ceased offering a free trial, many people began searching for alternative art generators. If you've looked on YouTube for alternatives, you've likely noticed that most YouTubers recommend Leonardo AI. They showcase incredible images generated by this AI. However, when you give it a try, you might find that you're unable to achieve the desired result. The problem is that you may not know how to use it effectively. In this video, I will guide you step by step on how to properly utilize Leonardo AI. Let's start. I will now demonstrate two methods for using Leonardo AI. First, let's observe my process as I create a photograph of a beautiful girl with a radiant smile. To begin, I carefully select an art engine that excels in realistic image design. We have numerous options available, but for this demonstration, I've chosen RPG 4.0. If you don't see additional engine options like I do, don't worry, I'll help you resolve that. Before we proceed, I've already prepared the prompt, which I will paste here. Now, I'll add a crucial element, the negative prompt. This step is essential for achieving desired results. Additionally, I'll enable the magical prompt and adjust the contrast settings. Now, let's generate the image and give it a few seconds to process. As you can see, all the images appear pleasing and devoid of any issues like extra hands or heads. However, it's important to have the knowledge to craft an effective prompt to achieve these results. Now, let's move on to the second method, which I personally utilize quite often. This time, I'll create an illustration of a lovely girl for a t-shirt design. Leonardo offers an incredible art gallery, and I'll choose an image that is close to what I have in mind. Although I like the selected image, I wish to replace the boy with a girl. To accomplish this, I'll simply click on the Remix button, and we're back to the image with the preloaded settings and prompts for its creation. All we need to do now is make a minor adjustment by replacing the word with Pretty Women. Let's generate the image and wait a few seconds. Look at the result. Now you can sell this design on platforms like Etsy. If you're interested in learning more about that, please comment below and I'll cover it in a future video. This is today's video. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.